Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert from this image with numbers in it into a table with the numbers that were on the image using OpenCV and Python. So let's see roughly how is the algorithm done. First we need to find which is this point in the image, the coordinates of this point. We also need to find the width and the height of each cell that is in this image. Then we're going to extract every number into a JPG, JPG image. Here are all the possible numbers that can be inside this image. Uh, here we see how many counters we have in every number. For example, number 0 has two counters, number 1 has only one counter. And also we see how are the values of area and perimeter of each number. For example, number 4 is the one with the lowest area and number 0 is the one with the highest area. Here also we see the variation, the difference of perimeters between the guessing. This, this will be called the guessing numbers and this this number will be called the cell number All right and we check also the difference between the cell number and the guessing number we have the lowest difference is 0.24 and this is the highest we also check the difference talking about the areas these values we're going to use it in the code as some reference to find the which number is the correct that we are looking for in the image uh, then we need to find an algorithm uh, how to classify between the numbers, between the guessing number and the cell number. So we're going to say that it's a different, it's not the correct number if they have different number of counters. Let's say number zero has two counters, the one that is external and the one that is internal. And number one has only one counter. So if they have different number of counters, we're going to skip and keep searching following conditions for example also if the perimeters are too far away for example number 5 has a perimeter of 40 54 and number 1 has a perimeter of 27 so we're going to skip if the perimeters are too far away also these two conditions are not going to go warranty us that we find the correct number so we're going to do some overlapping. What we're going to do is going to put this, num this guessing number, we're going to overlap with the cell number. And after overlapping, we're going to verify the centroids. The centroids, if they have big offset, we're going to say that that is, ne that is not the correct number. For example, number six has a lower centroid and number seven is going to have a higher centroid. After overlapping them, we're going to verify that the centroids have a big offset, so we skip. Also, if the number of counters don't match after overlapping, for example, if we overlap 1 into, let's say, 6, we're going to see that the overlapping image has different number of counters that the original number, that the original cell number that we are looking to identify. So if that happens, we're going to say that the that the numbers don't match, so we're going to skip and follow with the next condition. We're going to check if we have a big difference on area and perimeter. If that happens, we're going to say that it's not the correct number after overlapping. So uh, we use these conditions to identify if the guessing number is the one that is in the cell number. Let's see how, how it's done in the code. For example, here I have the here I have the terminal. We're going to execute the code. So right now it told me all the all the numbers that are in the image, giving the position and the number in that position. Let's see the code how it works a little bit. In this code, we use list, pop and sort. We use mparrays. We use file files. Also do thresholding holding and counters of the of the image. First we load the image with the numbers in the, in the table. Then we 
set the output files that we're going to use to write the numbers in. The output is this this file with the numbers of the of the image. So we set the size of the table of the complete table. We have 47 rows and five columns. First of this code, we need to find the cell size, the the height of the cell, and the starting position of the table. Here we have also the cell size in the x dimension and also the starting position in the x dimension. As is normal, we have 10 digits to discover. And we are going to examine the table in the first row and all the columns. We are going to take one cell at a time and convert it to a white number with black background. Then we find the counters. We remove the counters of low area. We detect the number of childs. For example, 8 has 2 childs, 0 has 1, and 1 has no childs. Then we have here the number of digits in the cell. After having the number of digits, we examine one digit at a time inside the cell and a patch needs to be set in all the remaining digits in case we have one in case we have more than one digit. Here we find the counters of the of the cell having only one digit. Before doing anything else, we erase the zero area, area counters. These are some noises. We get the areas and perimeters and also the centroid of the counter with the max area in all this piece of code. Then we have only one cell with one digit right now. So we are going to iterate through all the different possibilities that we can have and check which is the number inside that cell. He load every different number. We convert the number to white and black background background. We skip guessing the number if the if if the cell we have a different amount of counters. For example, zero has two counters, one external and one internal, and the number one has only one counter. So that means that they are different number of counters. So we're going to skip because zero is not the correct guess. Then we get the areas and perimeter of all counters and also the centroid of the max area counter. This, this data is for the number, for the guessing number. As you remember, we have right now this data, but of the cell, but the, we have this data of the number that is inside the cell. We also are going to skip if the guessing number if its perimeter is far away from the cell number. As you can imagine, for example, number 7 has a perimeter of 20, for example, and number 8 is going to have a higher perimeter. So, of course, number 8 is not closed on the perimeter as number 7, so we skip it because it's not the correct guess. Then we create a black cell with the centroid of the of guessing number matching the centroid of cell number. We're going to skip the guessing number if the centroids have big offset. For example, number one has a centroid, uh, like a tau centroid, but number, let's say, number six has a lower centroid. So that means that number six is not the correct guess for number one. So we skip it. Mm, then we overlap the guessing number in the cell number and get its counters. For example, if we are guessing that the number is one and we have in the cell number one, so we're going to overlap. And doing that overlapping, we're going to have an exact match that one is the correct guess for the number one that is in the cell. We're going to check that match in the following code. But first, we need to delete zero area counters. That is maybe some noise in the cell. So we get the area perimeter of all counters and the center 
of the max area counter this inside of the this this data we're going to get it from the overlapping that we already made with the cell cell number and the guessing number we're going to skip the guessing number if the area and perimeter have a big difference for example number nine has a big difference on area than number seven so we say that number nine is not the correct guess for number one for number seven sorry if all the if all the statements that we set up in the code were passed uh, so that means that the number that arrived until this point is the correct guess so we're going to write it in the CMD and also we're going to write it in the file in the output file and here we write the, the output files and also the data in the screen and we close the, the files that we wrote the data in and that's how you convert from one image to, uh, to a table with the numbers inside the image. That's it for today. See you.